This flat figurine shows Demuth, one of the sons of the god Horus, with a dog's head and long hair that hangs over his chest and back, an iconography that is quite similar to that of images depicting Anubis. Duamutef, more than just a guardian, carries profound symbolism in the ancient Egyptian cosmology. His role extends beyond the physical realm, touching the spiritual and metaphysical aspects of life and death. In the intricacies of ancient Egyptian symbolism, Duamutef stands as a beacon of graveyard security. The jackal-headed deity with its keen senses and nocturnal nature is a formidable guardian against any threat to the tranquility of the deceased. His vigilant watch ensures that the resting places of the departed remain undisturbed, allowing souls to journey to the afterlife in peace. Yet Duamutef's role expands further into the realm of spiritual guidance. As a son of Horus, he bears the responsibility of guiding souls through the complex pathways of the underworld. His guidance is a beacon of hope, a light in the enveloping darkness of the beyond, assisting souls in navigating the intricate labyrinth. In 1908, George Reisner found eight triads representing Pharaoh Menkor, the goddess Hathor, and various provinces of Egypt. What makes it so unique? Today we see a sculpture of the triad of Menkor, and it was called the triad because it contains three main components, the king, the god, and the ruler of the region. So in every triad we find the king and with him the goddess Hathor, and a person representing a region of Egypt. This triad was carved on schist stone, which is one of the hardest rocks that are difficult to carve on, but Al Masri carved on it brilliantly and dazzles the viewers. We find the king holding a scroll of the legitimacy of the ruling in his hand, and next to the king the goddess Hathor in the human image, and the top of her head is raw represented in the disk of the sun, and in the midst of the horns of the cow that we used to see Hathor in this image, and in this triad she wears transparent clothes and carries in her hand the shen.